Hello, my name is Yonis Dizoglu, in this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to transfer one of your projects, from Unity project, from one location to a different, for, so from one computer to another. So what I have here, I have created a project in a different network, uh, here are my projects, and what I would like to do, I would like to basically transfer all this project onto a different computer. Now, one way to do it is by using Collab. Uh, I've got a video tutorial on Collabs, uh, let me go through this, so if I go to YouTube and I'm just going to go to my channel, and I go to Playlist, and I go to Unity, and here is Collaboration, so in seven min less than 7 minutes I'm showing you how to do this without actually copying and pasting files over but in order to do this you need to access the original computer so in this video tutorial I'm going to show you just in case you don't have access to the original computer how to still transfer your project into a different computer so you can work on it so I'm just gonna right click here so this is the project I would like to transfer I'm gonna right click here I'm gonna send it to a zip folder Always, before you transfer your project, send them into a zip folder. Otherwise, some antivirus software applications will might uh, actually corrupt some of the files. If one of the files is corrupted, then the whole project will be corrupted. So that's, a, that's the reason why it's, it's good practice to make sure that, number one, your project is always closed. Number two, you always zip the, the project. And here, as you can see, I have logged on to my OneDrive. And once the zip folder is generated, I'm going to transfer basically the zip folder over to the OneDrive. Okay, the compression is almost done. Okay, cool. Now I've got the project uh, compressed. I'm going to click and drag it over to my OneDrive. I'm just going to wait to make sure that this is 100%. Okay, cool. Now I've got this onto my OneDrive. I'm going to go now to my local computer and I'm going to click on OneDrive. The folder generated here is called my Unity project. I'm going to go to the OneDrive and I'm going to find the folder called my Unity project, which is here. I'm going to right click now here or I can actually click on the three dots and select download. Once the project is downloaded, I'm going to show in folder. minimize everything and I'm just gonna click and drag this over to my desktop where I can actually right click and select extract files files here yes and I've got my folder here all right so now I have extract the files I'm gonna go to uh, add so this is Unity Hub. Make sure you open Unity Hub and then click Add. I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to find the project file, which is that one here. I'm going to double click it and I'm going to click Select. Invalid project. Okay. No, I think I've tried to import the wrong file here. No, it's called animation. Sorry. So it's that one, animated character. That's better. I'm going to double click here again. So this is my project files. I'm going to click select. Uh, Unity version 2020.2.7, it doesn't exist. So I have two choices. Choice one to go one step up. So I can actually select the different version. So from 2020.2 to 2020. Uh, yeah, point, that's an older version. So I will need to select the point three here. If that doesn't work and that breaks your project, you can fall, you can delete it from here and then you can actually select, go to the installs, go to uh, add, click on download archive and then basically find the version that you worked on from here. Point, actually, yes, there is point two point seven. Yep, F1, point 
no it doesn't give you letters 0.2.7 I'm just gonna open this on unity hub and yeah I'm gonna leave the default uh, settings that I had on the other installs okay I'm, I'm gonna keep a little note here I'm gonna upgrade my project to 0.3 that's the one okay and then I'm gonna click on it to open it yes confirm so it's gonna convert all the files to the 0.3 version if your project breaks you can always remove it and you always have bear in mind you always have the zip folder here so you can delete this folder extract the files again and basically go through the uh, same process uh, but this time you can select the the correct version now it will take a bit of time to convert uh, the project files to the latest version but once this is done I will be able to open the project so this is how you basically importing projects from another computer over to a different computer so I'm just gonna skip the new version if I press play now I've got my project here so now I can actually go through and, and customize my project further. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you will use these new skills to develop great video games. Bye for now.